Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I am because we're going to be playing around with the Glowish by Huda Beauty Cheeky Vegan Blushes. These are just to die for. Look how cute they are. I love this sort of marbleized texture and I picked up two shades. So these are 01 Healthy Peach and we have O2 Caring Coral. I was a bit concerned because the third and fourth shade did look quite dark and I am very fair as you can tell and these looked from the swatches I could see online like the most flattering for me. I've worn each shade once so I have a slight opinion. We're gonna be really in depth here and we're gonna really think about how these are applying, how they look, I'm gonna swatch it. I'm gonna put one on each cheek so we can also compare the colours. I'm very excited about these. I want a bit of a blush and bronzer hype at the moment so it was a must and I got them in sale at Boots. So I got these for £11 each. £11! That's down from 18 by the way, so. So let's just jump straight into the review. Off the bat, for that £18, which I didn't get them from, so I'm not that annoyed by it. They are very small. If I compare it to a standard, this is in comparison to a MAC pan. They're small, it's two and a half grams of product. If you are someone that's into panning and project panning, these will actually be really good for you because it's likely you'll get through them. And it also makes me feel better about picking up two shades. They are sort of a similar size to the refined cream blushes actually. So maybe that is the sort of standard size blushes ahead of ink too. But yeah, that's just something to know in case that is something you worry about. And as we did mention, I'm just gonna show you a little bit closer. They have this sort of marble texture. They are a powder blush, so let me swatch it for you. So if I swatch it for you, they feel really soft in the pan. I'm gonna do two swipes, just so I can build up the intensity. Okay, so that is Healthy Peach. It is very light toned, so if you are someone of a deeper skin tone, this is unlikely to show up on you. It is sort of a very good buildable shade for me. This is a healthy, sheer shade. This would be a shade that is very healthy looking, but natural looking on me. So that's Healthy Peach. My pan has a really different color to my face. Anyway, okay, and let me take a swatch of Caring Coral. So a lot brighter, a lot deeper. That was just with one swipe. It's got a lot more pigment to it than the other one. Okay, I'm just gonna build them up because we wanna see the color comparison. These two colors are sort of my favorite colors of blushes as well. So I'm very happy I picked these two out. So it's on top was O2 Care and Coral. And on the bottom we have O1 Healthy Peach. Very stunning, easy to wear shades. And they look like they're gonna be very flattering on my fair skin tone. The third and fourth shade, like I said, do seem like they would be more flattering on darker skin tones. They didn't seem to be a reason for me to pick them up then. So so trying to look at these in the light, they have a really subtle sheen, but I wouldn't call them super glowy. But these are just swatches. We want to see what they look like on our face first. I'm going to take O1 Healthy Peach first. And I'm going to do that on my Real Techniques blush brush. And should we do it on this one? Yeah. So I'm just going to swirl it in the pan. See, this brush is actually quite big for this pan. I'm just going to sweep that on the tops of my cheekbones. So this one's very sheer. If you like to build up your blush, this could be for you. If you are someone that likes to throw on a really pigmented blush and just go, might not be for you. I mean, that did blend out really easily and give me a really nice wash of colour. So this, this does feel like a beginner's blush then, if that's the case. And it is building up the more I apply. I don't know about you, but that looks really pretty and it's blurred my skin. I don't think it's as obvious on camera, but I have like some pores here that you can see, but they're just gone. It's like magic. They're just gone on this side. It's the problem with this. I just want to keep adding more, even though I feel like I've got enough. And there is a really subtle sort of golden sheen. Can you see that? It doesn't look glittery or metallic or anything. It's really pretty. I do really like that. This is a really nice spring shade. I think that's how I feel with peaches. They're very like spring toned. I don't need any more. I don't know why I keep applying it, but the texture of that on my skin looks so nice. It's a powder blush that doesn't look like powder on my skin. I really like it. It's so hard to explain. It just looks like it's blurred my face. Like when I compare the two cheeks, this looks just so healthy and smooth compared to this one. Now the test is if I use the other shade, will it do the same thing? So I'm gonna clean this off because I wanna use the same brush. 
Okay, so I've tried to wipe off as much as I can. Nothing more is gonna come off of that. I think it's time to go in with O2 Caring Coral. I'm aware that this one's swatched a bit brighter, so I might not need as much. Okay, I do also have a big spot under here that you can't really see, but it is sort of dry. So it's gonna be interesting to see how, with what I'm saying, how this looks blurring, how it's gonna work over on this side. I think it is doing the same sort of blurring technique. I don't think this tone is very good for this spot I have going on because it's sort of accentuating the redness of it. Cause this is, it says it's a coral shade, but I really don't think this is corally. This is like a very pale pinky berry almost. I would call this like, this is a winter shade, definitely. This is like a winter, my cheeks are cold shade. Does not accentuate that spot very nicely. But if that wasn't there, if I ignored this spot like this, it has blurred the rest of my face. There's some scarring that I feel like looks less prominent. The pores, it's like magic across your pores. That is what's dangerous about this blush because then it makes me want to try the glowish powder and the bronzers because if my whole face looked like this, that would be amazing. So I hope you can see the difference in the two tones here. So this is definitely peachy, more orangey spring vibes. And this is more pinky berry winter cold vibes. I love both. I will get wear out of both. More this one at the moment because it is November. Yeah, let me keep you a close up. This one is definitely more pigmented than this one. You could get away with this if you had more medium skin tone. This one is very pale, so I'm not sure. And I had to build it up, so I'm not sure how that would work on deeper skin tones but this one you could so if i just cover this spot wow they look gorgeous and like i said so this one's peachy and has sort of a gold reflect really sheer glow really hard to describe actually because i feel like it, it just catches the light really beautifully and makes you look radiant this one almost has a pale lilac reflect but it's so subtle, I don't think you'd notice. I don't think you'd notice that you're reflecting lilac, but it is really pretty. And they're both really wearable. So these are the swatches for the corresponding sides. I'm overall really happy about these products. I think they look really beautiful and there is something majestic about the way they just smooth over your pores and blurs your skin. It now makes me wanna try the bronzers and powders. So if you have any experiences with them, let me know in the description whether you think it's worth my time to give them a go. Maybe I'll do a review if I do. This is how how you're looking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit the subscribe button. My posting schedule is a bit all over the place. I'm gonna do it at least once a week. If I have more videos, then I'll post more in the week. We're just going with the flow. I've got a lot of university and placement stuff at the moment, but yeah, I'm really happy with these purchases and these blushes are really cute. So I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.